to do her on purpose Sing like a sing-along key Talk to the girl that intimidates you Pretend that you're brilliant and charming I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming Hey! Yes, so glad that you're tuned in, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Later with Jason Sewell. I'm here. Bo Counts is here, as always. Hey, hey. Great to see you, man. Yeah, good to be here. I mean, it's a great day. We're in the studio. We're going to be able to interview all kinds of fun people. Yes. It's great. Yeah, it is great. And, you know, as I've mentioned before, it's kind of like summertime, right? It's obviously summertime outside. It's hot. Uh, what do you? What's your mood right now in the middle of the summer? I mean, I, I dig summer. You know, I'm not a huge summer guy. I love the activities. I love the life out town. You know, I love all the stuff, but I just don't love the heat. Right. Everybody's like, oh, I can't wait till summer until you're just like sweating and sticky and stinky and nothing. No. No. Like, I'm kind of ready for some cooler temperatures. Like, I'm a fall guy, but, you know, I enjoy the summer. Yeah. Speaking of the fall guy, that was a great TV show. Do you remember that way back in the day? It was a TV show. <laughs> there it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm kind of odd, too, because I don't think that I definitely have a, uh, a favorite month. I like that period of time when the months are changing, when the seasons change, when we go from summer to fall, from You're fall to winter. You're just the in-between guy. Yeah, I'm the in-between guy. I see. I see. It's totally what I am. Uh, we've got a lot of fun happening on the show. Obviously, we're already just launching into it. Um, so stay with us, because coming up on the show, we're going to be visiting with Emily Gentry. She is absolutely amazing, and she runs the Mount Sequoia Center on top of Mount Sequoia, as you would have guessed, right here in Fayetteville. And we're going to double up with Mount Sequoia. We've got their executive chef, Caitlin Rush, joining us on the show. Joining us as our musical guest, we've got the band Modeling. We caught up with them and asked them about this music video. Here's what they had to say. The song is sort of an analysis of an unhealthy tendency I have to, I guess, dwell on the past or past events, things that I can't really change or do anything about now. And that's all jam-packed into a tight 30-minute show that I can't wait for you to stick around for because it's all happening later. We're here in the dining section at Sam's Furniture, and we're joined by Chris Fox from Bethany Christian Services. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what the uh, nonprofit does. Okay, so we're a faith-based Christian organization, uh, provide pregnancy counseling and adoption services for families in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, so if there's a pregnant mom out there, she doesn't know what to do, she's scared, she can come to us and we'll talk to her about her options of if she wants to parent or she'd like to place for adoption. Uh, and then also my primary responsibility is to go out and talk to adoptive families, let them know the process of adoption um, and walk them through the process of doing the adoption, right. um, meet them at the hospital and support them if they are adopting a baby. Um, and then make sure they get settled in once that baby is placed in their home. Man, you guys do so much. If people are watching right now, they want to get involved, they want to learn more, how can they do that? Uh, they can go to www.bethany.org or they can uh, email us directly at rmorris at bethany.org. Man, you got all the info. I love it. Bo, what's the... Uh... I think it's time to get involved. <laughs> Yes, everybody, welcome back to the show. So glad to be joined right now by Emily Gentry, president and CEO of the Mount Sequoia Center right here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Thanks for hanging out with us, Emily. Yes, happy to be here, thank you. Yes, so first of all, let's talk about the Mount Sequoia Center, right? So I think the Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas audience knows it's up on top of Mount Sequoia. And that it's haunted. And that it's haunted. For many years, it was kind of a, uh, a religious retreat center. It's gone through a transition, and that's all I know. Can you fill in yes, the blanks well, for me? I would love to, yes. Um, so we're an independent nonprofit, so we're still a nonprofit, um, but instead of being part of a religious organization, we are um, our own thing. We're owned by a board of directors, and um, we're really focused on the local community instead of being focused on a really wide range of churches in a big region. 
there's all kinds of stuff happening on top of the mountain. So can you kind of break it down, all of your programming? I know that's a lot to ask, but maybe highlight yeah. some of the programs you have happening. Yeah, well, I can at least kind of give you, there's four main pillars of Mount Sequoia. So we've got our children and recreation programs. So that's the camps, the pool, um, the gym memberships and things that you can get up here through Clubhouse. Um, that's kind of encompasses that. We've got our creative spaces program, which is our art studios, which Bo, that's probably the most haunted building on campus Ooh. is where some of those things are. Um, and then we've got uh, music on a mountain as part of the creative spaces program. We've got gallery space, um, things are always on display. Phoenix, Fayetteville is here as well, which is very fun. Um, our third pillar would be our culinary program. So that's things like Sequoia suppers, um, Battle of the Somaliers, any of the special events or dinners that we do that um, revolve around food. We have culinary classes as well. Um, and then our last one is our meeting and event space. So that's probably the most accessible for people. They can come up, you can get a room, you can rent a meeting space, you can just enjoy the grounds as well. Um, so those are kind of the four main things that I say kind of direct what we do here at Mount Square. Yeah, and you know, you're talking about that event space. Bo and I have had the pleasure of being there for a couple of events, right, that we've hosted uh, up yeah, there. Yeah, we did on some top. trivia and did some other stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was Yes, you helped host our trivia fundraiser um, a, a while ago. I know. But it was so fun. Back when we could meet big meetings in person, right? Yeah, that was yes. happening. <laughs> yeah, super fun uh, space up there. Um, so I want to hone in and kind of talk about those culinary programs because we do have the chef from the Mount Sequoia Center coming up on the show. Um, so I want to kind of focus on that. Something that you started during the pandemic, Sequoia Suppers. I know that I've benefited from them. It's kind of like a chef prepared meal. You order in advance, you show up, it's takeout, it's delicious. Um, do you think that'll continue to happen even after the current pandemic state? What do you see as the plan for your Sequoia Suppers? Yeah, I think that we're still even kind of trying to figure it out. I know it's been very popular, so we want to see it return, but we're very thankful that as the pandemic um, is changing and th things are changing, groups are starting to meet back in person. And so we're very thankful that um, our chef, Kaylin, is now getting to focus on some of those in-person events, um, cooking food for them. And unfortunately, as much as we want to see her do all things, um, <laughs> she is only one person. It's an inspirational place, Mount Sequoia. I don't know what it, I know for me personally, I did go to several church camps there uh, as a younger person and as a kid, and it's just kind of inspiring to be up on top of the mountain. What do you think it is that's special about, uh, about Mount Sequoia? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that is makes Mount Sequoia kind of what it is, is that history. Um, we've been here for almost 100 years, and you get up here and you can feel that. You can feel there have been thousands of people that have come before me that have used this space. The artists are in spaces that used to be a women's missionary dorm. And like, you just feel like all those collective experiences just kind of uniting in this one place. Yeah. And it is, it is truly inspirational, just like you said. Yeah, for sure. You know, and even like we were talking about, ghosts love it so much, they just can't seem to leave. They come back year after year, they're stuck there. I guess something's happening with that. We should do an episode, Bo, where we kind of go mystery hunt. Uh, g -g 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 ghost tour. Yeah. Actually, question for you though. There is a, what used to be an amazing open rooftop on one of those dorms. Have, have you guys ever, like, is it still on the drawing board at some point in the future to kind of reopen that space up? Because I, I got the, the, the opportunity to sneak peek at once, and oh my God. Goodness, it would be so beautiful if it got restored. By sneak peek, do you mean you snuck up there on your own when nobody was looking? Eh, tomatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have it on our radar as something that we'd love to bring back and restore to the full beauty. Um, the fourth floor has of that building that you're talking about has the space to be all windows. So you'd get almost a 360 degree view of Fayetteville. Um, it's gorgeous. It can be great for art. It can be great for food. It can be great just for being and enjoying the space. But it um, needs but people to come and utilize the space that's there and spend money and donate. That's how we have nice things. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's it right there. That's kind of a, a great tease. How do people get involved? What's the best way we can support the work of the Mount Sequoia Center, Emily? I would say the first thing you can do, and you can do that today for no money at all, is to sign up for our email newsletter. Um, that's a great way to stay in the know for what we've got going on. Um, and then just coming out for events. Can you come out for a food event? Can you send your kid to camp here? Can you come to the pool? Um, that The community support is what makes a big difference. 
and even just spending a few dollars here and there that all goes back into Mount Sequoia and preserving this historic place and preserving and and hopefully reimagining these buildings um, for the next hundred years. Yeah, for sure. And for our audience right now, if they're curious, if they want to Google, what do they need to search? What is your website there, Mount Sequoia? It is mountsequoia.org, and that is M-O-U-N-T, not just M-T. Oh, good. Good distinction. MountSequoia.org. You heard it here. Emily, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us. Really appreciate having you on. Oh, well, I love talking to you guys. We're so appreciative of what you guys do, and you're always fun to be with. Yeah, for sure. And we're going to bring some of that fun up on top of the mountain. That's right. Stay with us, folks. We do have more happening later. Smith & Associates Real Estate is a proud sponsor of Later with Jason Sewell. They're excited to be a part of the growth and continued success in Northwest Arkansas.
Yes, welcome back, everyone. Glad that you're tuned in. We talked to Emily Gentry a little bit earlier in the show. She was coming to us from the Mount Sequoia Center. And now we have the executive chef of the Mount Sequoia Center. We've got Caitlin Rush joining us on the program. Thanks so much for hanging out, Caitlin. Hey, y'all. Yeah, great. So what are you going to be putting together? Um, I'm going to make a cream cheese-based smoked salmon dip for y'all. Oh, that sounds great. It does also kind of sound summery. I know that might be weird, like a wet fish dip for your summer, but that's what we're making. <laughs> Dips are in. You dip in the pool, you dip in the salmon, you just dip. That's right. When I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> I love that's that. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> all right, go ahead and uh, don't let us hold you up. Go ahead and get started, Caitlin. Well, all right, so you're just going to put some uh, cream cheese in a KitchenAid mixer. You can mix it by hand if you want. Mixers are easier, obviously. Um, and then you'll take some pieces of salmon. I bought some Pepper smoked salmon, go ahead and put that in the mixer too. Um, and then we've got some green onion. I like jalapeno in mine, so it's just some minced fresh jalapeno. Little lemon zest, some fresh thyme, fresh parsley, a little squirt of the lemon juice. Um, some Parmesan for good measure, a dollop of sour cream, and a small dollop of mayonnaise. You can do one or the other, you don't have to do it all. So while you're putting those all in this same dish, why did you choose those particular ingredients? Do all of those kind of taste good together, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, the way you kind of bind it together, um, It'll spread through that smoked salmon and kind of even out that smoky flavor because if you didn't add all of it, it would just be like a real bang pow in your mouth. <laughs> uh, a little bit of mozzarella. And then one of my favorite little tricks is fried garlic. Oh. All right. So we'll take that and just blend it up. That seems simple, but I know that you did a lot of prep to be able just to throw all of that yeah, in the did mixer. Did you fry right? that garlic yeah. or can you buy garlic fried? That's a good question, yeah. Uh, Tang's Asian Market in Springdale. Oh, oh we love Tang. Yeah, Brian we, and Shulon yeah. are yes. the best. Now, with this dip, you can serve it hot or cold. Um, if you want to, I mean, you can just eat it out of the mixing bowl. So, I have a question. Like, what's your favorite thing to serve this with? I mean, do you do chips? Yeah, do you do crackers? Do you do toast points? Do you, what do you, what do, you do? I really prefer non bread. Non? Hey, non. there you go. Okay. Yeah. They got those little non bites now that are just so yummy. A little plate of non here. And uh, scoop it up. And voila. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. I'm jealous. I'm so Ooh. jealous that you got to have that and we didn't. So I can't wait till we get <laughs> up on, uh, on top of the mountain to see you at some point so we can try some of your delicious salmon dip. Um, and I know that you have a few things happening right now. Caitlin, anything that our audience needs to know about, uh, maybe about come seeing you, because there's Sequoia Suppers. You're also doing some kind of dinners if people want to book a dinner with you. How does all of that work? Well, we do takeout meals for Sequoia Suppers uh, once a week. Um, you can order online. If you go to our website, click the events tab. You can also join our newsletter and get updates about that every week. Um, so yeah, we do the takeout meals, and then we also have several like private events, um, special events, things like that. Uh, we have an upcoming dinner with the Layman Winery, and oh, nice. those tickets online. So yeah, lots, yeah. lots of events. Check out the website. A lot of stuff happening, and you know, Mount Sequoia is just lucky to have you with all of your culinary prowess and everything you have going on. Caitlin, thanks so much for just taking the time to hang out with us and make that delicious dip. I can't wait to try some. Absolutely. Can't wait to see y'all. Come up and see us. Yeah, for sure. Stay with us, folks. We do have more happening, of course, later. <music> folks, thank you so much for tuning in to the show. And remember, you can find us out there on your social media platforms. You can see old episodes of the show. We got a lot of fun content over on our YouTube channel. Search Later with Jason Sewell. And of course, you can send us an email at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. Before we leave, let's thank our guests. We had the one, the only, Emily Gentry from Mount Sequoia Center joining us on the program. And also, doubling up from Mount Sequoia, we had Chef Caitlin Rush showing yes. us how to dip. And thanks to our musical guest, the band Modeling. That's our show. 
See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Wanna go take a dip?